Hey guys, in this short video, let us simplify about these neurotransmitters. The kind of questions that you get from neurotransmitters are either they ask you about the location of the neurotransmitter, that is the group of nuclei which produce these neurotransmitters, like the third table which has location for us, and the first table which explains us about the neurotransmitter levels in different psychiatric conditions. So I have got you this... Uh, different psychiatric conditions neurotransmitter level in two different forms so one table uh, has uh, it in a very segregated manner like the neurotransmitter are written vertically and the diseases are uh, written horizontally like anxiety depression schizophrenia alzheimer's disease huntington's disease and parkinson's disease but the last one mania i have added from the second table which has mania in it right so i have added all the extra points from the second table into the first one okay so let us suppose dopamine regarding dopamine uh, levels in mania are not given in the first table so i have added them right and regarding schizophrenia also it uh, in the second table they mentioned that there is an increase in dopamine and serotonin in schizophrenia so there is an increase in dopamine is given but the serotonin thing i added here right you are getting my point right so i have added everything that is needed from the second table into the first table so now that my job is easier so that i'll explain you only regarding the first table so let me delete this thing for you i'm removing this second one and bringing into the picture our uh, mnemonics part right so these uh, are the mnemonics that i made to remember this table in an easy manner so firstly regarding serotonin so let us concentrate on mnemonics part first and then get into the table once again. So serotonin decreases in all except for one condition, right? So it except for one condition which starts with S that is schizophrenia. Serotonin increases in schizophrenia, right? And the next one is noradrenaline or norepinephrine. Both are one and the same, right? Norepinephrine or noradrenaline is same. So N and A, that means noradrenaline decreases in all except for two conditions which starts with AN. I mean except for one condition which starts with AN, that is anxiety, right? N and A, that is A and N. So from the serotonin, the first letter S and schizophrenia S. From the noradrenaline, the first letters N and A and N and A, that is anxiety. Now coming to the third one, GABA, which is a cuter one, which decreases in all. There is no exception for GABA, which decreases in all. Like all in the sense, in whatever the conditions it is decreasing in the table, like there is a decrease, that's all. There is no increase in any other uh, disease. Now coming to dopamine. Uh, now from the first three, we have remembered like it decreases in all and exception. Whereas the, from the fourth one, it starts like wherever it decreases. Only the decreasing condition will talk about. So from the dopamine, D and PA, that is dopamine decreases in D, that is depression, and PA is Parkinson's disease, right? Dopamine decreases in D and PA, like D and PA. Now coming to acetylcholine, the fifth one. So acetylcholine, we write it right. So this is the acetylcholine actually, but we represent it as ACH, right? So A and H. So it decreases in Alzheimer's disease and H is Huntington's disease. So all the diseases that we have here are anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, the anxiety remember as AN and Alzheimer's as A, Huntington's disease as H, Parkinson's as PA and mania is like just mania. So look at here guys, serotonin decreases in all except schizophrenia, right? So look at the serotonin part, it is decreases in anxiety, depression, whereas increases in, and decreases in Parkinson's also, whereas increase in schizophrenia, this is done. Then comes noradrenaline or norepinephrine, let me write noradrenaline here, so that N and A is anxiety, so it is increasing in anxiety, whereas decreasing in rest all, like depression it is decreasing and Alzheimer's also, it is decreasing. Now coming to third one, GABA. So GABA is decreasing everywhere, right? Even in mania, one second. Even in mania, Huntington's disease and anxiety is decreasing. Then comes dopamine. Dopamine decreases in DPA, right? D, P and A. So where is D? Depression it is decreasing. 
and P and A Parkinson's is decreasing. Whereas in the other conditions, it is increasing. And coming to acetylcholine, which is represented as ACH. So A is for Alzheimer's disease, it is decreasing. And H is for Huntington's disease, which is decreasing. I hope this table is easy now. So let us remember this mnemonic of decrease. Okay. So let us remember all the conditions in which it decreases. Then the exception part so that it will be easier for us. If you remember the it decreases in this, increases in that, it will be a little confusion in exam. So let us remember where all it decreases and what are all the exceptions. So this completes the mnemonics part for the first table. And now coming to the origin part like which neurotransmitter arises from which a group of nuclei so the first one uh, i would like to tell you is about histamine h is for h that is hypothalamus now coming to acetylcholine so a c h right so acetylcholine this is from basal forebrain complex so remember like a b c that means acetylcholine is for is from basal forebrain complex and then coming to dopamine, we all know that dopamine is something related to black color, right? So, nigra. Dopamine is from substantia nigra, that is ventral tegmental area, which is present in the midbrain, okay? Now, coming to serotonin, remember like serotonin, okay? You pronounce it as serotonin, right? So, RA is raphe nucleus. And coming to norepinephrine, it has ORE in it. Ciceroleus also has ORE in it in the spelling. Now you might tell that in the four brain spelling also ORE is there, but let us not confuse like that. Let us remember that four brain mnemonic like ABC that is acetylcholine for basal four brain complex, whereas another ORE that is norepinephrine's ORE is for locus cereleus. And the remaining one is GABA. So let us remember like GABA NA. It's rhyming, right? GABA NA. So, GABA is from nucleus accumbens. Now, uh, all this location is given in the first table also. So, let us uh, solve it there also. Let's see it there also. Acetylcholine, we remember as ABC. So, that is basal nucleus of Maynard, which is otherwise called as basal complex of, like basal forebrain complex. And now, coming to dopamine. How did you remember dopamine? It is related to black. So, substantia nigra. This is substantia nigra, which is in the midbrain. And GABA as GABA NA. So, nucleus accumbens, which is a part of basal ganglia. And now, coming to norepinephrine, we remember it as ORE, right? So, cereleus, the spelling is this, okay? ORE, which is in pons. And coming to serotonin, we remember it as serra which is raphe nucleus and one extra thing is about histamine which is simpler one this is with h that is hypothalamus i hope this table is easier now try to solve few questions uh, from this topic so that uh, it gets consolidated uh, like once for all thank you